So Kenya's biotechnology space is poised for growth following the recent move by the government to lift the ban on genetically modified products. The African Agriculture Technology Foundation, AATF, says the development is key in inspiring research to meet the overall goal of boosting the country's food security. And as Denis Otino now reports, developers are also seeking to dispel the myths surrounding genetically modified crops. Over the last decade, a number of organizations have been at the forefront in championing research into genetically modified crops. The African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, is one such organization facilitating adoption and transfer of such technologies to smallholder farmers who account for the vast majority of rural agricultural producers in the country. According to AATF, the lifting of the 10-year ban on GM crops has given a lifeline to scientists and researchers in the country who have spent resources developing the technology. It had uh, maybe baffled many scientists. Many of them must have uh, slowed down uh, on that, which is unfortunate. In any country, I think research is uh, what delivers new knowledge. I'm happy that now that the ban has been lifted, this will go on. Funding, whether locally or uh, from uh, foreign institutions, will then be directed. The 2012 moratorium had restricted importation and open cultivation of genetically modified crops, with critics citing health concerns as one of the reasons. Linking GM to cancer is uh, sensational and irresponsible. And if there is any uh, evidence, uh, let it be scientifically demonstrated. That could also help in decision making. Quite a number of myths that have been uh, talked about the technology. One of them, it is uh, there to be able to reduce the population of Africans. What I can say is, it's not true. The technology is currently being used all over the world. Actually, there is no continent that is currently not utilizing. We have over 70 countries that have uh, approved uh, either GM animal, GM crop, and uh, taken to the market. With maize regarded as a key staple in the country, researchers have been conducting trials on the genetically modified version of the crop. It is now awaiting cabinet approval before release to farmers. Lifting of the ban has also paved the way for other crops, such as cassava, considered alternatives in the country. That the lifting of the ban will now set the stage for the last mile research for cassava. And in the case of BT maize, it's just variety release and then seed increase and commercialization. In East Africa, Kenya has led the region in embracing agricultural biotechnology. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.